Hello, my name is John, and today we'll be reading Illegal Immigration and Crime, The Stunning Numbers the Left Cannot Refute, by Michael Cutler on Front Page Magazine, posted January 3, 2018. Michael Cutler is a retired senior special agent of the former INS Immigration and Naturalization Service, whose career spans some 30 years. On December 21, 2017, the Department of Justice issued a press release. Departments of Justice and Homeland Security released data on incarcerated aliens. 94% of all confirmed aliens in DOG custody are unlawfully present. The initial statistic cited in the title of that DOG press release shows that there is a truly significant distinction to be drawn between aliens who are lawfully present in the United States and aliens who are illegally present in the United States, either because they have entered the United States illegally or they have violated the terms of admission after entering the United States via the inspections procedure at ports of entry. The press release begins with the following statement. President Trump's executive order on enhancing public safety in the interior of the United States requires the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security to collect relevant data and provide quarterly reports on data collection efforts. On December 18, 2017, DOJ and DHS released the fiscal year 2017 fourth quarter alien incarceration report complying with this order. The report found that more than one in five of all persons in the Bureau of Prison custody were foreign born and that 94% of confirmed aliens in custody were unlawfully president. Although immigration anarchists have consistently manipulated language, engaged in tactics of bullying and intimidation, and when all else failed, flat out lied about every aspect of immigration, the Trump administration is providing the truth. The DOJ press release upon which my commentary today is based lays out the cold, hard, and unequivocal facts. It is significant to note that the title of the press release included the phrase confirmed aliens in DOG custody because all too frequently aliens who face deportation make false claims to United States citizenship to avoid being deported. Therefore, there may be even more deportable aliens in federal custody while the actual number of such aliens in local and state custody are unknown and unknowable, particularly in sanctuary cities and sanctuary states. Here is an excerpt from the press release that provides some quick statistics and a paragraph that addresses the lack of information about aliens in city and state facilities. A total of 58,000. 766 known or suspected aliens were in DOG custody at the end of FY 2017, including 39,455 persons in BOP custody and 19,311 in USMS custody. Of this total, 33 7,557 people had been confirmed by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, to be aliens, i.e. non-citizens and non-nationals, while 21,209 foreign-born people were still under investigation by ICE to determine alienage and or removability. Among the 37,557 confirmed aliens, 35,334 people, 94% were unlawfully present. 
These numbers include a 92% unlawful rate among 24,476 confirmed aliens in BOP custody and a 97% unlawful rate among 13,081 confirmed aliens in U.S. MS custody. This report does not include data on the foreign-born or alien populations in state prisons and local jails because state and local facilities do not routinely provide DHS or DOJ with comprehensive information about their inmates and detainees, which account for approximately 90% of the total U.S. incarcerated population. For decades, the truth has been carefully kept from Americans by globalist politicians from both political parties. They have been far more concerned about doing the bidding of the globalist special interest groups that fund their campaigns than they have been about the threats that open borders and immigration anarchy pose to public safety and national security. On April 19, 2016, toward the end of the Obama administration, the House Subcommittee on Immigration and Border Security conducted a hearing on the topic, the real victims of a reckless and lawless immigration policy. Families and survivors speak out on the real cost of this administration's policies. I wrote about that hearing in an article which also included links to statements made by Representative Trey Gowdy, the chairman of the subcommittee, who opened the hearing with his statement that set the tone for what would follow. Breitbart.com used one of Rep- Representative Gowdy's statements as a title for their article. Trey Gowdy, more illegal immigrants convicted of crimes at large in the U.S. than the population of Pittsburgh. At that same hearing, Congressman Lamar Smith noted that although it has been estimated that illegal aliens account for about 3% of the U.S. population, they account for 30% of all murders, making illegal aliens 10 times more likely to commit murder than anyone else, adding that huge number of at-large criminal aliens to the huge number of criminal aliens who are incarcerated in prisons provides a measure of the true scope of the immigration crisis that can only be solved by ramping up efforts and resources to secure our nation's border and enforce our nation's immigration laws from within the interior of the United States. The blunt honesty of Chairman Gowdy and Representative Smith contrasts directly with the propaganda spewed by globalists such as Jimmy Carter, the originator of the Orwellian term undocumented immigrant. Beginning with Carter's administration, the globalist immigration anarchists have embarked on a campaign of deceit. Their goal was to erase America's borders and flood America with a virtually unlimited supply of cheap and exploitable workers an unlimited supply of foreign tourists and foreign students, and ultimately new voters who would be indebted to the politicians who made their presence in the United States possible. To further obfuscate the truth, Carter demanded that all INS employees substitute the term immigrant for the term alien, even though the term alien is an integral part of the immigration laws of the United States and is defined by the Immigration and Nationality Act simply as any person, not a citizen or national of the United States. Under his campaign of deceit, illegal aliens were were to be referred to as undocumented immigrants as though all that these illegal aliens lacked was a piece of paper. The truth is that aliens who run our borders are not undocumented. They are uninspected. Here's a bit of clarity. The difference between an illegal alien and an immigrant is compared to the difference between a burglar and a house guest. Today's so-called sanctuary cities betray America. Americans and immigrants. 
and pose a clear and immediate danger to public safety and national security as their leaders resort to similar Orwellian propaganda justify their dangerous illegal policies. Those cities should be referred to as magnet cities because they attract transnational criminals, fugitives, and terrorists, and flood the labor market with the illegal aliens who displace American and lawful immigrant workers and undermine wages and working conditions. This past year, Congress conducted hearings about America's gang crisis, particularly MS-13, once again disclosing the, disclosing the deadly impact of failures of immigration law enforcement. Today, immigration anarchists continue to tell lies. They say that if local police were to work in coordination with immigration law enforcement authorities, that illegal alien victims of crime would be fearful of coming forward to report crimes committed against them. In reality, visas are available for illegal alien crime victims that would enable them to remain in the U.S. if they cooperate with police and identify the criminals. Other visas are also available for illegal aliens who, although not the victims of crimes, nevertheless provide actionable intelligence to law enforcement to com combat criminals and terrorists and the organizations to which they may belong. Throughout my career with the INS, one of my key areas of responsibility was to use my authority as an INS agent to cultivate informants and cooperating witnesses within ethnic immigrant communities to assist in criminal investigations on the local, state, and federal levels. This was particularly true when I was assigned as the first INS representative to Unified Intelligence Division of the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, and subsequently promoted and assigned as a senior special agent to the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force. Indeed, this was one of the critical elements of my annual evaluation. If advocates for sanctuary cities were truly concerned about immigrants, why in the world aren't they providing information about the visas that are available to illegal aliens who cooperate with law enforcement authorities? The answer is self-evident. They don't care about the immigrants only about promoting their false narr narrative. Another deceitful claim is that through implementation of comprehensive immigration reform, our authorities would be able to get all of the illegal aliens out of the shadows so we would finally know who is here. In reality, terrorists might avail themselves of the opportunity to acquire new identities if their biometrics were not on file while those alien criminal fugitives and terrorist aliens who know that their biometrics are likely on file would simply remain in the shadow. CBP, Customs and Border Protection, has more than 60,000 employees, including inspectors at ports of entry and border patrol agents. If, as immigration anarchists claim, it does not matter how aliens enter the United States. Why do we need to continue to fund CBP? The answer, of course, is self-evident. President Trump understands the truth and is acting appropriately. All rational Americans should be appreciative and supportive of his efforts to protect America and Americans. This video is a production of the School of the White Crane. My name is John Brooker. And you can communicate with me through commentary on this video or through my Gmail listed here. Please share this video with family and friends and on social media. May God richly bless you.